Welcome back to Stuff Made. Uh, my name is Garrison. I have here Kara the Soul Child. Um, I knew her for a long time, uh, but it's not about me, it's about her still. Okay. My name is Kiara Sochow. Um <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot because like you gotta look at it like you're doing a lot right now. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh-huh. Like and at the same time you're also going through a lot. Uh-huh. And your music is like your your avenue, your your path to actually express, you know, instead of, you know, being everybody else, you know, expressing it in violence, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's wild. Like, how do, how do you how do you feel about that? Like... My music is like... It's kind of like a reflection of me. It's like... Kiara... This is Kiara. Mm-hmm. But I'm giving you Kiara the soul child. It's like... I look at it differently, you know what I'm saying? It's like my art. And I put that on the pedestal. Because, you know, this is my way of um, expressing myself. You know, I'm usually really introverted and quiet. And I'm very extroverted in places I feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I but other than that, I like to be introverted. And, you know, sometimes I don't have a way of expressing, you know, how I really feel. My music is just where I go. That's my scale. So when you when you don't know, you you, you have a you have a you have a place to go mm-hmm. when you don't know. I feel mm-hmm. that. I feel that. I feel that. I also just saying uh, today I have uh, some drinks here, uh, some gold peak tea. Uh, <sighs> it's not sweet tea, and mm-hmm. I wanted to try it with you if that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So, uh, oh. so I don't know if it's gonna be fine or not. I go peaks a good brand, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I guess like, you know, it'd be five. I can't open mine. <laughs> got it? Yeah, I got it. Hey, I'm gonna shake it up. You wanna shake it up? Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> this Because I don't know what we're for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we work with here. You you've been singing in a church yeah. since childhood, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I'm originally from Paris, Tennessee. Paris, Tennessee. Oh, uh, where's Tennessee. West? West? Uh, west, okay. you know. Hey, West, West. What's <laughs> up? Oh. Don't, don't say nothing yet. No, no, don't say nothing yet. No, don't say, say nothing yet. You haven't, yet. You, haven't, you, haven't, you haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay. 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 Ah. That's. That's. That's some tea. That's some tea. That, <laughs> that that's not the move. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what oh, is this? This is not tea. That's definitely disgusting. That's that you have to have a peculiar taste. No, um I yeah, that's a lot. That's that's a sipper right there. That's a that's a <laughs> Okay, you, you gave that expression. You gave that expression. Okay, okay, I understand that. But like, to get back like, into like, hearing like, what's up with it? You started in Paris. Yeah. Now, you, now you're here. Mm-hmm. What's up, what's up? How did you go from completely West Tennessee to being in the middle? You know what I mean? Like, what's, where, where did that come from? You know what I mean? Okay, so when I was in Paris, Tennessee, I left when I was about in the second grade. Yeah. And um, I left there because I was being raised by my grandmother. Gotcha. My mom was still young. She was still in school, and she had three of us. And while she was in school, my grandmother was raising us. She was like 19. She was my age. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so... We finally, she finally got a place, you know, while she was still in school. Supported all three of us and we moved back out here with her. And she worked. Then um, we got a house. And that's when we would live. We were living over there by Riverdale for like seven years. We stayed out there. And, um, you know, I was young. I got here when I was in maybe like the 
fourth grade, I started going to Barfield Elementary School. Hey, mm-hmm. hey, the jar right there. Okay, yeah, say no more. <laughs> and then um, went to fifth grade. I went to Christiana Middle. Eventually, Riverdale High. And of course, everybody knew me because everybody knew I could sing. I was always in the talent shows and stuff in school. We're in the club, okay. So, so when I started recording and doing it in high school, and everybody was, you know, they were like, oh yeah, I saw her doing that, you know, type of stuff. So that's how I did that. That's really where, like, I got a lot of my fan base from because a lot of people in school supported me. You know, I was kind of introverted and off to myself, yeah. but at the same time, everybody knew because what I do. When I get on stage, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Fact. You've seen that yourself. You're right, oh God, when I was there, yeah. I was like, oh, it's just a vibe. Like, everybody was turning up. You was reaching, you know what I mean? Like, to the even to the backs of the room, you had the teachers moving. Like, that's, like, <laughs> some people like us don't even get the old people to be moving. But that's you, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's why you're here. Yeah. So you, you started in high school. Uh-huh. Um, I was, I was, I was parent, I was present and like coherent, and you know I was always a fan. So you heard me playing it, <laughs> busting in the hallway. You know I was turning mm-hmm. up always, cause you know always love, you know always mad love. Um, well, how did you get there? You know what I mean? Like, how did you get to the avenues to be able to put your stuff out there? Like, you know what I mean? Okay. What's up? So. When I started doing this when I was 17, um, at first I was dropping songs on SoundCloud. And I dropped one song, one of my first singles was called Enough. I did it on SoundCloud and I, I didn't want to put it on Apple Music or nothing because it was like my first song. So I was like, it's nothing. I still have a lot of room to grow. I still have a lot to figure out. So when I learned more about the business and how much I could make like money-wise and everywhere, all the um, platforms I could put it on, when I learned how to do that, I did it myself. When I did Excuse Me, I wrote that song when I was 16 years old. And I did I kept it in my notebook for so long. I have so many notebooks of songs that I haven't done anything with, you know what I'm saying? But I just wait till the right time to do it. And I did Excuse Me and I dropped it on Valentine's Day. Um, I figured out how to put it on, you know, Apple Music, I put it on TuneCore, I put it on this platform, that platform, I got my rights to it, I copyrighted it and did all of that. And then that's when I dropped it. And I made money off of that song because of all of the support I got from my peers in school. And then my family, you gotta think about all the people that I had in Atlanta, all the connects I had out there. You know, and then my hometown, Paris, Tennessee, I had people showing me love, you know what I'm saying? And I made money off of that song. But you know what I'm saying? That's just the support I have. I'm blessed, you know what I'm saying? Like, you did that. And then my next song that I did, Kickback, I composed that song with a band. Like we we built that song from scratch. And we just saved, when we were in the sessions in the studio, we didn't write anything down, we just did it off the rip and we, we took audio files and we saved them and we held on to them. And every time we met back in the studio, we kept those files and we built on from there. And we it took us so long to do that song. Like it took us so long because we were just, you know, building it from off the rip. But the lyrics and all of that, like it was just a room full of people in the studio, and that, it was the coolest thing ever mm-hmm. to work with people like that. Right. And we're all just talking shit in the lyrics. It's so fun, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> it's a different, it's a different, way different vibe when you in you in a studio or in a room, and you you just there with creators. Because like I used to uh, go to a high school uh, before I moved here. Uh, Firestone when I was in the choir it was a music program at school mm-hmm. uh, for choir and band and like when you're able to sit in the room and just I don't, I don't know just 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 put everything out just put everything out there everybody's free yeah everyone's free and you it's can cool. just just vibe and just you just have so many genius minds because what they doing is what they know yeah and you ain't even got a question it's cool. It is, it's it just is. the vibe. It's just the energy. Yeah, it's the energy in the room. That's one of the best things too. I definitely want to keep meeting people and networking. And it's so much to do. Like it's a whole world. That's why I'm so ready to get out of Nashville. <laughs> I'm done. I'm ready to explore. I feel you with that. Yeah. Um, you was. You said you dropped uh, "Excuse Me," which was really, really good, cause like that was on Valentine's Day, and I remember that day, and I was like, 
that came out. I had uh, Apple Music already, and like you, you, you hit me like a few a uh, week before. You said it was like hey, I'm about to drop this, and I was like, bet, 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 bet. I already looked you up, had it already pre pre ordered. I was like ready for it, and it came out, and I was just jamming in the hallway. Uh, I didn't know when you when did you drop your second song, Kick It Back? Cause like I don't know when, cause like I've heard it and like I love it. It's like it's on my phone. Like I, I fuck with you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not I'm not fucking with you. But like I did, I never knew when you drew it. You when you drew that card when that 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 came out the vault. You know what I mean? I dropped that song November 9th of uh, twenty eighteen. And I did it back then because we had just finished it and I was like, no, we got to get this song. I wanted to do it in the fall because for one, it's called Kickback. And the vibe I was going for was we're having a bonfire because in the lyrics, I'm saying bonfire, the bonfire light is shining on me. So I'm thinking the scenery, when we shoot the video for it, it's going to be like a bonfire vibe. You know what I'm saying? It has that fall yeah, yeah, yeah. look to it. It's a good, you know what I'm saying? A good vibe. So that's the vibe we're going for. Are you uh, uh, question that question that uh, <clears throat> I I like when you were speaking about like bonfires. I, I like I like that idea. I like that idea. Let's like like personally like. Are you feeling like a uh, like a kickback or like? Cause like on your on your album cover, it shows you like with two people. I think you your hands are like yeah. I don't know if your hands are up. Someone has their hands up. Me and tonight. Yeah, yeah, you have your hands up. Yeah, and y'all chilling is like was awesome. Uh, are you going with that bonfire like a beach feel, or are you going for like that kickback feel? Cause like that's the title. Are you going for like that? Oh, this is like you know a fence backyard trees. It's kind of like beach music. It's kind of like oh. island music you listen to at the beach. You know? Gotcha. Okay. Bad, 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 bad. All right. Yeah. Say the less. Say the less. Cause like, cause like you know everybody made the bonfires. You know, so like, I was I was wondering what you know, like. Avenue you was taking because yeah. like that's that's just amazing because you could go both yeah. and it would still be good you know you could always do you can do what you what we were speaking about like Travis Scott really really change the vibe and you can actually transition into that beach area or like hey I got a bonfire in both places like yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's cool. laughs> I was like you can, I was like yeah like no, hey no, I was like no. my backyard is a bonfire, but I step just a few more seconds down, there's another bonfire. You know what I mean? Talking about. Throw the check, you know? Like, hey, I'm gonna just pass that to you, you know what I mean? Because that's fire. And like, you was. But what you doing is just fire. Thank just you. what you doing is just fire. Thank um, you. Would you like to take another sip of this, Steve? Would you like another sip of I mean, like, I bought it, so I, I guess I gotta, I, I guess I gotta drink it, you know? Okay. okay. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. It, 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 it brings some character. It brings some character, okay? That ain't it, <laughs> That ain't it. That ain't it. It's not. Um, how... You got your rights on your own <clears throat> by yourself. You put it on iTunes, SoundCloud, SoundCloud by yourself. You self taught yourself. Yeah. You was always wondering why you coming on the show. But you see every answer is self, right? You see, oh, yeah. I'm, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm just letting you know. Um, that's just like a you know a side note. Just letting you know, <laughs> right? I have uh, another question that was on my mind while we were sitting here because like this story is just just unraveling and just like blossoming as a flower as we we just uncover. You know, um, what was uh, who? Who did you? Cause you was you was chatting a few minutes ago. Your management. How how did you get that? How did you how did you get your team? How did you you did it on your own? Like how? What were you looking for? I would like to say like in people were like what what critiques or like what things they need. You know what I mean? So okay. So when I found my manager in Atlanta. Um, I met with her at first. I had her meet my mom and all that before we ever became business partners. 
and that's how we, you know, made everything work. After she met my mom and my parents, you know, she, we went from there. I started going to Atlanta, I started staying with her. Sometimes I stayed out there for weeks, and I lived with her when I was out there. And we would go to business meetings, we would go to these shows. I would meet people out in Atlanta, like the rap game stars, a lot of them, like Super Peach. Yeah. I met her. Um, That's... Super Peach. Who else? It was Sire. He recently was on the rap game, Sire. I met with him. I met with a lot of them out there. I performed at some of their events personally. So I networked a lot out there when I was in Atlanta. You were able to tap into to the outlets that you were able to. Yeah, it was. it's a different world out in Atlanta too. Like for the vibe I'm going for and what they are doing. But I was able to see like the business of everything. So I was still learning at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Even though you were uh, doing business, you were able to bring back what you learned so you can build your business. Right. Got you. You was learning, you were, at the same time you were learning everything, but you were able to like, okay, here's what I want, here's what I want. Got and I'm you. sitting here putting it in my, yeah, you know, my own perspective. And I met a lot of cool, like, producers, oh my gosh, like Cross, I met him. He's worked with a lot of major people in the game. Like, he mentored me a lot when we were in the studio working together. He gave me a lot of uh, different ideas, you know, he inspired me. Uh, he kind of, you know, he, he really planted a seed, like, with the stuff he was telling me in the studio, how I should sing, how I should let everything flow and just release. So it's just like, I'm just learning on everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking notes on everything that's going on because when I was in Atlanta, I recorded from 9 o'clock at night to 5 o'clock in the morning type shit. Like, I was learning, you know what I'm saying? But I'm working. But it was a really cool experience. I love doing that. And that's why eventually I want to go back out there and do Facts. that. Facts. You were speaking about that. There. You were speaking about working. And you, you, I feel like when you said that, you like just undermined, oh, I'm working. Nah, you, you can't just undermine what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, you won put out, excuse me, on Valentine's Day, and then on November 1st, 2018, you dropped Kickback. Ninth, November 9th. Ninth, yeah. my, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Ninth. Um, and then you said, I'm working. You're working, if I heard right, three jobs. I only heard one of the jobs <laughs> that... So can we just, like, run through the list? Because, like, you just, like, undermine, oh, I'm working. So, what's up? Alright, so the, the, the jobs that I do on a daily basis, sometimes I work all three jobs, sometimes I work two jobs a day, sometimes I work one job today. It just depends how my day goes. But I have three different jobs. I have one, my nine to five job is a cleaning business I work for. We get houses ready for rent and we clean them. I The I second you. job is Dollar General. Hey. Turn it up, no cap. And the third job is a daycare. I, I worked at a daycare uh, earlier this year. That was my nine to five job. But now I just do it part time because they asked me to come back. They need help, so. Ooh, okay. Hey, hey, can't be mad if they ask me. It's more money, so. Hey, I ain't complaining. It's like, more money, so I yeah. feel you, I feel you. Um. Okay, when you uh, went, were you working two jobs? Uh, when you were releasing your songs? At some point, yes. In high school, I did work two jobs. Um, at the time when I was in high school, I worked at McDonald's. That was my that was my favorite job. Like I worked there for like two years when I was in high school, and I stayed there. And then I would serve a Cracker Barrel. Ah, I Cracker Barrel. Okay. So yeah, I would serve there, and that's how I would get my money. I would have my tip money anytime I got paid for McDonald's. I would have that, and it was just you know what I'm saying. I would have to get rides from Nashville because I had my lessons when I was in high school, but I couldn't drive myself to Nashville. So I had people that would get me and take me to Nashville anytime I wanted to go to the studio. I had connections out there. I never really had to pay for studio time because of all the connections I have. So I've just been, you know what I'm saying? It's just all about networking. Networking and communication and mad, mad love and respect. That's like you, like you come into the room and you, you, you feel the respect, you feel the love, like it's, it's, it's there, man. It's like it's a blessing having you on here, family. <laughs> it's you, a thank blessing. You, thank it's you, a man. blessing. Thank you um, for having me. <laughs> thank you guys for uh, enjoying uh, Kira the Soul Child on Self Made. Thank you. Thank you. Peace. <laughs>